talk about superhero fatigue, I don't believe that it's anytime soon because Marvel keeps creating things that are unique and different. They got three shows right now. WandaVision is a great, very interesting, unique, something I've never seen experiment of a show. Going through the decades of TV. Then you got Falcon and Winter Soldier. Something I have seen before. It's much like Captain America 2. Kick-ass show. Now you got Loki, which is like something I've never seen before. So the creativity of Marvel is what keeps it flowing. It's what keeps it alive. It will continue for quite some time so long as they keep changing things up. And you have three very different shows. You have your action lovers. You have your nostalgic for TV lovers. And, and, and sitcom comedy lovers. And then you have your sci-fi mystery lovers right here with Loki. Loki is fantastic. Episode 1, I loved the setup for everything, but episode 2 is where it gets really interesting. Loki is looking for Loki. And I think the reveal at the end, spoilers, but the fact that Loki is a woman, because they said Loki could look like anything, it really puts a problem for Loki, which I think is very interesting, because that means not only could it be a different gender, it could be anything. They had a picture of a fucking demon. I mean, he doesn't even recognize himself. He has no ability to detect the magic of his counter self. He literally watched someone get dropped and then get possessed. So, it also puts him in another, another situation where he doesn't have the magic. You see, he got his ass kicked by fucking redneck Bill. <laughs> so, I think it's fascinating the situation Loki's in. He is chasing after he ran through the portal at the end, but he doesn't have the ability to fight this person. This person can change in anything. He's not going to really detect it unless they do something obvious in front of him. And the TBA, who don't trust him, now think that he set up this whole scenario, which I'm very fascinated as to how that's going to lead. Owen Wilson is killing it, by the way. Love his character. Mobius. I don't like his boss. His boss is nonsensical. He has a very easy-to-understand logic to why he's using Loki. We're chasing Loki. Who knows Loki better than Loki? That's very obvious logic. And she's like, oh my god, we can't trust him. I'm just like, you don't have he basically said you don't have to trust him. You just you just have to learn from him. You just have to use him to find him. You don't have to trust him. So his boss gets on my nerves. I love that conversation between he and Loki when they're sitting at the table. They have two fantastic conversations. Shout out to the writers of the show. The jet ski conversation. Talking about order and chaos and liking the simple things, but what's the point of liking something if you don't try it? He doesn't, he's never been on a jet ski. What's the point of not break this? The advantages of breaking the rules and the advantages of following the rules. It's interesting because they both need each other to survive. Because if you have nothing but order, then what do you really have? That was a fascinating conversation. Uh, I love this great idea of Loki being in apocalypses. That's something I've never fucking thought of. You could jump into an apocalypse, do whatever the hell you want, and you would affect history. No way. Jump in the crack of toe or whatever the hell, the volcano exploding. He did whatever he wants. I would have walked in there and I would have smacking people in the face. I'll fucking kick a goat, I'll burn a building down. You could jump into apocalypses and you wouldn't create an alternate universe. You wouldn't create a different timeline. Nothing branches off. That is such a fascinating idea that I never thought of. Because if everything around you is going to get eviscerated, then you can't affect anything. Ooh, jump into the middle of a hurricane where everyone's going to die. And do whatever you want. And then just keep doing that again and again and again. How fun would that be? It's terrible. It's evil. It's an evil idea that you can just jump into apocalypse and just fuck around. But it's also a fascinating idea. So, so far, Loki is killing it. I'm giving an A plus so far with this episode. Because it did something that every good TV show needs to do is make you need to see the next episode and not only did i need to see the previous episode i need to see the next one it has got me that captivated i love it so far i'm hoping it's my favorite of the shows i love wandavision i loved falcon and winter soldier and i'm suspecting that by the time this is over i'm gonna have loved this show and i'm gonna love whatever the hell they have next so so long as marvel keeps killing it then superhero fatigue is a myth and dc on the other hand woo, they might have the superhero fatigue on their side because Justice League was a waste of space and Zack Snyder's Justice League was decent, but I'll never watch it again. So, hopefully this Batman movie that's under so much uh, chaos right now it comes out. Hopefully it comes out sooner rather than later. I, I hate that it's coming out in March. I wish it came out in October, Halloween time. But we'll see what happens there. Warner Bros. execs don't like it, but also don't trust executives knowing about anything art-related. Peace. Subscribe!